friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm gonna be trying a very new product from Curl Smith. You guys might have seen it. Every curly person is talking about it, and now it's my turn. I was actually one of the first people to know about this new launch, but now I feel like I'm one of the last people to talk about it, but that's okay. We don't always have to be first. I like to give things some time, you know, hear what people have to say, hear how it works on other hair types, and then give my opinion. So, let's open the new product. I got this package in the mail that says, can you resist the temptation of shinier hair? Do not open until 16th September. Oh, that must be a UK thing. We say it's September 16th. <laughs> 2021! Ooh, it's got a purple seal so I can't peek. But luckily it's after the 16th, so we're good. And I also could just slide it right off. Reveal your Curlsmith secret weapon. Boop, boop, boop. Curlsmith Bonding Oil, the ultimate hair finisher. Lightweight oils for stronger, shinier, and softer hair in seconds. Wow, there's a lot to talk about, so let's talk about it. Now, I will be completely honest. When I first heard it was an oil, I was like, okay, cool. I personally don't really use oils in my routine because a lot of oils contain silicone, a lot of oils weigh down my hair. Just didn't really think I needed it, right? But I am glad that I just posted two videos about thick curly hair and high porosity hair and a common denominator from both of those videos that a lot of you love using oils. So one, I'm happy to give you guys an option for those of you that do use oils already. But this oil has a lot of different specialties about it that just might make me include an oil in my routine. Today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith, so thank you so much for sponsoring this video. But as you guys know, sponsored or not, I'm gonna give you the real deal, the truth, and how I feel about it. And we're gonna go through all the facts. So first things first, this oil is a really cute, sleek bottle. Let's get a little close-up of that fanciness and a moment for the nails. Mm, they're cute. Curlsmith Strength Recipe Bonding Oil. It's two fluid ounces clear, simple, chic bottle, and it is available on the Curlsmith website and Ulta.com. So I'm coming at you with flat, non-fluff, still defined curls. Today I styled my hair using one product, the Curlsmith In Shower Style Fixer, because this is a level 10 hold. So I wanted to show you how you can break the cast of a very strong gel using an oil. So I'm gonna try for the very first time, first impression of the Curlsmith Bonding Oil. Now it says I only need to use one pump per section. So although this is a pretty small bottle, it's potent, so you don't need a lot. That means it'll go a long way. Here's my curls now. Good nice little before. Little stiff, not too bad, very defined, but I want my hair to be big and volumized, as you guys know. So let's go ahead and apply one pump. Ooh, it smells good. That's another reason why I don't use a lot of oils because they always smell so strong and like from the forest. It's just a little too much for me, but this, oh, because you wanna lick it. Don't lick it, don't eat it. I mean, it is all like plant derived, so you probably won't die, but don't, just don't. So. I'm going to use this to scrunch into my hair and break the cast. I don't think there's any such thing as a gel that has too strong of a hold because you can always break the cast from scrunching, diffusing, fluffing, but mainly using an oil is used a lot to break that cast. So I'll do one side first so you guys can see the difference. Oh yeah, they're getting softer already. Just keep scrunching. And an oil can also be used so your hands are nice and moisturize. If you have any like large curls that are stuck together, you could easily break apart those curls, giving you some more volume. This will help reduce frizz. So as I'm scrunching, let me read you guys all the benefits that this oil claims. So this oil is supposed to seal your cuticles to prevent moisture loss, which is why a lot of you guys said that you do like to use an oil to lock in that moisture, especially if you have high porosity or very dry hair. It's a bond building, so it complements your bond curl product. So there's actually, I think there's a protein in here. Yeah, yeah protein enriched to strengthen strands. So you're getting your bonding protein properties in this oil just like your other strength products from Curlsmith. It's super lightweight, so it's supposed to be suitable for all hair types. That's a big one. I do get scared about it weighing down my hair. Uh, it's a perfect finisher for smooth, soft locks. 
repairs damage, smooth split ends, that's nice, and will also obviously enhance shine for a juicy, bouncy curl. Oh yeah, see how we're getting more volume on this side? It's not weighing down my hair, so maybe just a little teeny, 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 teeny. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so let's talk about the key ingredients. Key ingredients are vegan keratin made of chickpea, quinoa, and lentil proteins. It has a castor oil blend, sea buckthorn oil, apricot kernel, and a next generation blend of olive and shea. Mmm, that's a lot of moisturizing things. I like it, I like it. This is where we are thus far with the oil, with the cast broken versus without. Loving the volume, but we are gonna get bigger. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and talk about the benefits. Now for the other side, let me tell you how to apply this. You should do it like I'm doing now, where it should be the last step of your curly hair routine. This is going to lock in all the moisture from the products, from your conditioner, that you put into your hair. It's also going to break up the cast if you did use a strong hold gel, helping you get some volume and add some shine. If you don't want to use it after you apply all your products, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you could also use this as a pre-poo and apply it to your hair the night before your wash day. So you can apply it just like I'm doing, put it on your hair, rub it onto your scalp, let it sit overnight, and then in the morning you have a nice little layer of protection for your shampoo or any harsh water that you may have and it's just going to kind of make your detangling even easier and just give your hair that extra moisture boost that you may need wow this smells good now this oil this two fluid ounce bottle is 29 dollars. so you might be thinking whoa 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 i've already got some oil i got some coconut oil i got some olive oil in the kitchen i'll be just fine but there are a lot of differences between this oil and other just natural oils out there and even other brands. And that is one, it's CG friendly, meaning it's also silicone free, it's naturally derived, and it doesn't build up on your hair. It has a high shine, it's lightweight, and it also dries really quickly. So my hair doesn't feel greasy right now, it doesn't feel weighed down, it just really helped me break that cast. It looks really shiny and it's but let me keep fluffing and make my hair as big as I possibly can. Okay, this looks pretty. It looks really pretty. It's really shiny. Do you guys see this? Do you see that shine that I see? And my hair can still get big. I have low medium porosity hair. My hair is very fine. So usually oils like coconut oil, jojoba oil, Jamaican black castor oil, whoop, anything like that will just weigh down my hair. The claims are true. It is lightweight. And I bet you if I wore this around people, I would get so many compliments on how good I smell. When they talk about how curly girls smell, it's this, like tropical in a bottle. Wow! <laughs> Bravo, Curl Smith. You just never seem to let me down. You're inventing products that I don't even use in my routine, but I'm okay with. You guys know I like my hold, but hold does limit your volume, and I love volume more than anything. So the fact that I can use something like an in-shower style fixer with a level 10 hold, add a little bit of gel on top, now I smell extra amazing, and I could break that cast and get to this level of volume. Yes, Bianca Renee approved. Now remember, you do want to apply this on dry hair as your last and final step of your curly hair routine or as your very, 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 very first step as a pre-poo. In my opinion, because this ain't no little regular schmegular oil, I don't know if I would want to waste it on a pre-poo to then just wash it out the next morning. I would want to just leave this on my hair every day as my last step of my styling routine, but teach his own. It's gonna work. Wow, 
never thought you'd see the day, huh? Where Bianca adds another step to her routine. <gasps> this is obviously great for all hair types, but especially for someone that already uses an oil in their routine, you have high porosity hair, split ends, damaged hair, your hair needs extra protein, you need a way to lock in that moisture because you have high porosity hair. This is going to be a must have in your routine. And if you're someone like me that's kind of afraid of oils and they usually weigh down your hair, as you can see, I was still able to get big voluminous curls with my low porosity fine hair. So if you wanna get your hands on the new Curlsmith bonding oil, make sure you use my link down in the description box. That lets Curlsmith know that you got it because of me, it helps me out, I appreciate it. So go ahead and click that link and get your bottle so you can seal in that moisture and have beautiful shiny curls. We all can just smell amazing. So now let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. There's my before, after. Major difference. This is why you gotta break that cast. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. So hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. You also can follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.